Hey everybody, long time no see. I'm Cosmo Lanier, and you're watching Cosmo in the Movie Within. Today, we are reviewing Deadpool and Wolverine. Let's get it. So this is the third movie in the franchise. Long story, less long. Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, great friends. They could never get on the same wavelength. Ryan Reynolds wanted to do a movie with uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine for the longest. It didn't work out. Finally, with the way it is right now in Marvel, and you throw a big enough bag, and you're doing a friend with your best friend, they made it work. So now Wolverine is back, Hugh Jackman is back, and he's also signed on to do a couple more movies. So we might get this a few different times. So anywho, so now they are, he got Hugh Jackman part of it. So now we have the great Deadpool Warway film. Um, they pretty much go into, well, let me backtrack a little bit. Deadpool. He gets pressure on his girlfriend. He gets pressure from his girlfriend. Hey, you got all these crazy uh, abilities. You should be doing way more. Him, of course, wanting to do more. And if you got your girlfriend on your back, you know, on you, you want to get it together. So he reaches for the stars. It doesn't work out. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you what he tried to be, but he tried to be something in, starts with a A, ends with an S, has a injures in there. If you know what I mean, that didn't work out. So what's the best possible way to do it? He ended up being a used car salesman. You know, ain't that the way to go? If you can't be a injure, then you might as well be somebody who sells Honda Odysseys. I know, weird equivalent. And he has his crazy roommate, uh, Blind Al. You know, she still loves that. If you know what I mean. Uh, so they are all together. And he's, he's hating life. Things are not going well. Things are going terrible. Uh, he has his abilities, and it's just like, blah. Until he gets a call from the TVA. Hello, can I speak to Deadpool? Hi, this is Deadpool. Um, we need you for a big, huge mission. What? I'll be right there. So they get Deadpool, and now he's ecstatic. Yes! I have something to do. I can be great. I have all these capabilities, these abilities. I can do everything. So anywho, he goes. But let's just reel it back a little bit. They tell him, hey, we want you to be part of our, our team. We want you to do these crazy missions. We want you to regulate. But your whole world is going to be pretty much done, though. And because of this great thing that happened, Pretty much your timeline is going to be a wrap. So we want to take you and have you do other things in other timelines, but for yours, it's going to be gone. So, of course, this means if his timeline is gone, if his universe is gone, it means his girl is gone, his best friends is gone, his whole world, which it's only nine people in his world, but still, his whole world would be gone. So he decides, ah, I'm not going to do that. And the only person who can save his world is somebody that's you know, an anchor, somebody that's big, somebody that's just shuts it down, which, of course, is Mr. Wolverine himself. But if you've seen Logan, you know Wolverine is dead. So that sends Wade on a mission to go all throughout the different timelines and find a variant, a Wolverine variant that he could bring over to his side. But it's just not that simple. You can't just pick a Wolverine, cherry pick a Wolverine, and then everything will be good. So, and then mind you, the TVA, they're doing a little shady stuff. It's not quite as simple as they say, hey, you need this person, and then your universe will be fine. They have their own list of things going on that's shady. So it's a lot of the different people going in a lot of different ways, doing there are a lot of different uh, selfish, let's just put it that way, doing things that are more selfish and not things that will be conducive to help everybody. So... Wade is still going to do what he's going to do, which if I hear you saying Wade, Wade is also Deadpool. So he decides, I'm going to get this variant. I'm going to find a Wolverine. He finds a Wolverine. Now that you have a Wolverine, 
Do you know Wolverine? He's not the nicest guy. Now you have to convince him, hey, help me out. Please help me. But this Wolverine is all messed up. He done caused a whole bunch of destruction, a whole bunch of nonsense in his timeline. So he's not the most happiest person. So, of course, it's a lot of... A lot of friction, a lot of friction, a lot of friction. Eventually, the TVA finds out, sends him to uh, the trash, their equivalent of it. And you know who's there? Charles Xavier's sister, Nola. So not only do you have your timeline that is only has but so long before it goes goodbye, then you have to get Wolverine on your side to help you. Now you have to deal with Charles Xavier's sister? And let's just put it this way. She ain't Charles Xavier. She's nice like that, mind-wise, but she is a dark, twisted. So, now it's, okay, what are we going to do? And in doing so, he meets all types of different people, all types of different mutants. Now mutants are added to the equation. This is the first film that officially introduces mutants. So now, you know, that means, that means X-Men and all that good stuff is here to come. So, because of that, he also goes with paths on different past variants, different past entities, different, I don't want to ruin things, but if you get my just, he comes across and encounters a lot of different people, which goes for the cameos. You get cameo here, cameo there, cameo, 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 but they're all perfectly placed and they all mean something. The ones that they highlight, the ones they don't highlight, you just got to Keep an eye, and then you might see, oh my god, that's such and such from such and such. Oh, that's such and such from such and such. Oh, <laughs> I love such and such and such and such. I'm not going to ruin the cameos. Don't worry. You can watch this and not worry. Nothing will get ruined. So, now, you got to go through all that stuff. So, of course, you know, Wolverine and Deadpool, they're going to bang out a couple of different times because they can't stand each other. I'm talking about the most wittiest comebacks, the most raunchiest jokes mixed with Hugh Jackman and his actual, not to say Ryan Reynolds can't act, but Hugh Jackman, he gets busy. Like, don't get it twisted. He comes to musicals. He can be Wolverine for 20 years, but he can also do a variety of all types of different genres. That man gets busy. So... You actually have a movie that you get action-packed, you get the jokes, but then you also get the dose of great acting that, which the subject and the uh, subject matter might be something not uh, as grand, but just, can you imagine Wade, Deadpool, and his raunchy wittiness, and then Wolverine just barring you up? It makes for great cinema. So then you have them two, they're going through, trying to figure out how to stop their world from ending. And also, they have to figure out how to stop Nova. Because Nova is also going to be somebody who makes things more difficult. So, in a nutshell, without telling you the whole shebang, you got to have it there. You got Deadpool, he needs the help, he needs to stop his world from ending. He gets Wolverine, goes through a trial and error of finding the right Wolverine. Once he does that, then it's okay. They get caught up. They have to deal with Nova. They might get a little assistance from some people. I guess you'll find out. Um, one of which, they said it in the trailer, so I'm not going to let it be known. X-23, Wolverine's daughter. She's back. She's going to be in there getting her yamins off. Um, and I, I hope she gets a, her own movie. She's wonderful. But you have a team up on top of a team up to stop Nova and a potential other team up. It's a lot. Like the, the plot line is simple, but there's a lot of things going on. And all these different parts go together. And while you're watching these parts, you're getting filled with joy. All the people who have been watching Marvel and know all of it, this like Easter egg after Easter egg. And all the people who even haven't watched everything, like my daughter watched it with her. She hasn't even seen everything. And she was like, damn, she got the, the just of some of these major cameos and ones that she didn't get. It still made the movie great. So... 
it's regard it regardless if you know it or don't know it, the movie is just great. You're gonna get hardcore action and you're gonna laugh the entire film. On top of all that, you're gonna get a lot of closure. Me personally, there's a couple characters in there that I was thank God I saw because I was like, man, you needed to get justice. Oh, how they left your how you left their franchise? Terrible. Hey, I completely forgot about you. You need to get some re resolution. Everything gets solved. Everything gets handled. It's A1. Um, also, the ending is kind of crazy, kind of wild. Um, very fast, very fast-paced movie. Like, it doesn't feel like it's a two-hour, two hours, eight minutes movie. But it's two hours, eight minutes of pure joy. I loved it from the beginning to the end. I will say, at the, as soon as the credits end, you're going to get a nice little credit scene. Nothing to pertain to do with the movie, but more so do with the whole franchise. And at the very end, when all the credits are done, you're going to get a little post-credit scene, which technically that is the one post-credit scene. I, for sure, loved everything about this movie. I've been clamoring to watch this movie since it was announced, since uh, it was official that Hugh Jackman was going to be on board, since all the, 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 the rumors and everything. I've just been drooling and waiting. And I just had my blood exchanged, so I couldn't go immediately. But it was worth the 20 years of them going. I mean, this is the first time Wolverine is wearing his actual yellow costume. Like, what? And he looks great in it. Um, Deadpool and him, they're meant, they're meant to be together. I cannot wait to see all the other films and them just putting them to, inserting them in another Avenger movie and whatever because the sky is huge. Marvel kind of got flat after Endgame, but now it's completely lifeline. Boom! Reactivated, re-energized the whole, the whole franchise, the whole saga. This... I will have to say, I'm going to give it one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, seven, eight, nine. I love this movie. Pure. Five more fires. Boop, 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 boop. More fire, more fire, more fire, more fire, more fire. Oh, just to let you know, PSA, Jamaica is the best. And we better win a hundred meter and that two hundred meter. Go Jamaica. Oh, sorry. I had to run back. I was in you know, channeling my inner Usain Bolt. Um please subscribe, like the video, comment, tell me how you like this video, tell me how you like the movie, tell me how you liked other movies I reviewed either on paper that I reviewed or I reviewed during these live wonderful YouTube reviews. Just interact with your boy. Goodbye.